Hey everyone, this is the Millionaire Hippies Podcast with your host, Boom Shika, where we chat about spirituality, business, and health. We all want to live self-actualizing, fulfilling lives with joy, prosperity, and gratitude. Let's go on this beautiful journey together. Hey everyone, welcome to another podcast episode of the Millionaire Hippie. I am Boom Shika. And in this episode, I wanted to speak to you guys about this quote that I just recently heard, which said, change the world, don't just add to the noise. And it came from a trailer for The Glass Castle, which is actually a book converted into a movie. And I love the book. The book was awesome. It's a real, it's a memoir. um, And it was a real life story. So people actually went through those things. It was amazing. I absolutely recommend the book. I haven't watched the movie yet, but I, I saw a trailer and it said, change the world, don't just add to the noise. And it just really, really spoke to me because there is a lot of noise out there. And as an entrepreneur, um, as a new business owner, as anything, anyone who's trying to do something different or trying to add something into their lives, we hear a lot of noise out there. Not only in, in fact that there's people trying to sell us stuff, which is normal, but also the self-help gurus or, or the coaches or the people who are who we aspire to be, there's a lot of noise there as well. And we really, really have to be very critical about what we're going to take from each person that we listen to. I have this philosophy in life or this policy that if a person has made it in their own life, in the in the realm that I'm looking to grow in, for example, if it's online business if that person isn't successful in online business and they're trying to give me advice on online business i'm not going to listen to that person i will listen to them but i'll not you know use their advice in my life unless it really makes sense because the person hasn't actually you know proven themselves in that field the same thing for meditation i see a lot of people giving me advice on meditation and i ask them if they have their own meditation practice and they don't So how can you talk to me about meditation if you've never meditated or you don't have a long-term solid practice that you learn from? Same thing with yoga. If a person hasn't been performing yoga for a long period of time, of course I'm going to listen to that person, but I'm going to really be critical in that regard and making sure that I take everything that they say with a grain of sand. I just want to make sure that I don't just accept all the noise on this planet as, you know, gospel i want to make sure that everything that comes into my brain has been has go has, it goes through that kind of formatting process you know where i make sure that okay this is actually something i want to keep because it makes sense for me and i've actually gone through uh, analyzing the truth of it and this is something that i need to discard because it's absolutely false because it's based on false information or false evidence and so some things i keep some things i discard most things i discard and very few things I keep because there's very few people on this planet whose information, whose noise I trust because there is a lot of noise on this planet. And so I really want us to be careful because I think we ascribe certain people to these pedestals. We think that they're godlike creatures. Uh, and we think that just because they've been through something that we haven't or because they are famous or they have millions or whatever it might be, we ascribe to them this kind of godlike status. And we think that anything that they say is gospel, anything that they say is the truth. We don't even try to figure out the efficacy of some of their stuff. We believe everything they say and we integrate it into our lives. Well, I'm not saying that it might not be the case, but a lot of times it isn't. And I want us to be really careful specifically about ascribing someone else's to someone else to a godlike status because there are very few perfect beings on this planet. Actually, there's no one who's perfect. Everyone is imperfect in their own way. And so if we're trying to learn from an imperfect person, we have to be careful about what they're telling us because we don't know where they're coming from. We don't know what they're trying to do. I'm not saying that we're trying to be paranoid and and not trustworthy or trusting anything that's coming at us. That's not what I'm saying. But we have to be careful about what we use in our life. If someone tells you that meditation is the best practice on this planet and you should meditate, then go out and do your own research and figure out why is it useful? Why do so many people do this meditation practice? Why does everyone speak about it all the time? Why are there so many self-help gurus talking about it all the time? Think about it. Research it. Do your own research. 
And again, not everything that's on the internet is right again, obviously, but do some scientific research. Figure out what the science says on it. And there's so much scientific research out there on everything that you can imagine. And all of it's available online for free, which is amazing. So why aren't we not taking, why are we not taking advantage of it? And so do your own research. If someone tells you that forest bathing is an in new thing and you should really try it out, then you say thank you to them and then you go and do your own research and if it makes sense to you, then you go on and try it. In the last podcast episode, I spoke about morning pages and I asked you to try it out. But I don't expect you to just believe me and just try it out without, with blind faith. It would be nice if you did that. I, I appreciate it. But I do recommend that you go out and do some research online and figure out what are other people saying about morning pages? Do they like them? Do they recommend something different? Maybe you're a different kind of person and you might not jive with morning pages. Maybe bullet journaling is more your kind of thing. And so you'll find that out and you start doing that instead. It isn't the point. The point isn't to shut ourselves off from information. The point isn't to not look at all the information that's out there. We have to be open to all that stuff out there. It's important because there is a lot of information out there that is for our good. It's necessary for us to become that optimal human being that we're always trying to become. So we don't want to stay away from that information for sure, but we do want to discern what's useful, what's critically useful for us, and what's not. And what is, you know, the truth and what's not, because there's a lot of bullshit out there on every subject possible. And there's a lot of bullshit coming from gurus and coaches and people who are on really, really high pedestals. Our, our heroes and heroines are also spouting a lot of bullshit. So we have to be really careful about what are we going to take from these people and what are we going to not take. And so really pay attention to the noise. Specifically as new entrepreneurs, I always tell this to people, there's going to be shiny object syndrome coming at you from all directions. And if you don't know what that means, it's basically when you want to take every single course that's out there. You want to you know, sign up for everything that's out there. You just want to enroll in all the stuff because you're afraid that if you don't, then that, that one thing is going to be that what changes your business. And if you don't, then you've lost out and your business is never going to be a success. Shiny, shiny object syndrome affects all of us. And we can, we can actually waste a lot of time and money on it. Obviously, money is definitely there, but time. Because time, instead of wasting or spending time on our business, on writing blog posts or doing things that are useful to our business, we spend a lot of time chasing that shiny object, that shiny object that's going to change our business or that we assume is going to change our business, but might not really actually help. Instead of so doing the real work that we know we need to do, we actually use that as a source of procrastination. We think to ourselves, if we could just take one more course, if I just learned one more thing about this, my business would just erupt. It would just become that blooming success that I want it to be. But if I don't, then everything's just going to fall apart. And we kind of scare ourselves into that situation where we have to sign up for everything that comes at us. Again, it's a source of procrastination. It's a source of noise. And that's something that we need to stay away from. The final thing I want to say about noise is that as the quote says, we want to change the world. We don't want to be a source of noise. And not only are other people on the outside sources of noise, but ourselves sometimes. We've been talking about a lot of bullshit ourselves, and we have to be careful not to just be a source of noise, but actually do what we want to do. Say what we're going to do, do what we say, and just be committed to our life purpose, to purpose that we're here to do, to our unique gifts and talents that we're here to propagate. Do not subscribe to the theory of noise. Just because you talk about it doesn't mean that you're actually doing it. I know so many people who talk and talk and talk about things and have no, they have nothing behind all that talk. They haven't done any of the work. They don't do any of the work. They just talk about it over and over again. It is one of my pet peeves and I really am careful to associate with people who are not talkers. They're doers. I want to be around people who do things that they're going to say, that they say they're going to do, they do them. They don't just talk about it. Because it's really easy to create noise. It's really easy to talk about things. It's really easy to bullshit the world. And there are a lot of bullshitters out there, but it's very hard to do the work. It's very hard to do the mundane, ordinary work every single day, sitting down at your desk and doing the work, the work that no one sees but is necessary for your business or for your life or for the future. It's very hard to do that because it's not glamorous in any way. It's actually sometimes very boring. It's not anything that's very shiny or, you know, thing that actually makes you feel like, oh my God, this is awesome. 
A lot of times it's just ordinary boring work, the repetitive work that you have to do every single week, week after week after week. It's not creating noise, it's not creating, creating glamour, it's boring. But you do it because you know that that's going to be useful for the future. Doing rather than talking, rather than creating noise, changing the world in your own little manner, whatever it might be for you. It doesn't matter specifically what it is, but doing that work. So I hope this makes sense to you guys. I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. I thought it was a really interesting quote. Really spoke to me and spoke to me in a lot of different manners. I hope I've shared it clearly with you. If you guys are interested, you can join my free Facebook group, The Millionaire Hippie Club. If not, I'll talk to you guys next time around. Bye for now.